So it was posed to me, what makes you the expert? Okay, so fair enough question, what's ma what makes me the expert? Well, I never claim to be an expert. But I will say that I do my research before I take a position, make a claim, make any kind of recommendation. And I always tell you, you'll see it in, in the credits, it's my opinion and and I urge you to seek out other opinions. It's also my experience. And if it's something that maybe I don't have experience, I have a number of local friends, and so I get their opinion when I talk about the election, for example. Now, I predicted that the other guy would win, but I also said that if he didn't win, there was going to be a lot of problems, there was going to be a lot of turmoil, and I explained why. And sure enough, that's, you know, that's what happened. Uh, did I know that for sure? No, but talking to local friends, talking to people in the community, you can get a pretty good sense because, you know, they keep up on things, they're fairly aware. And so when I try to offer you up some kind of insight or information, I didn't just take it off the top of my head. You know, I'll talk to people that will know something about it, or I'll research, I, I'll get on the internet, and I try to give you the best information I can. But having said that, I also have a lot of experience. I've mentioned a number of times I've been to a lot of different countries. I'm not going to hit them all, but in Asia, I've been, I lived in Japan for over three years. I've been to Korea, I've been to Thailand, I've been to... Vietnam, I've been to China, I've been to the Philippines, I've been to Australia. Um, I know there's some others I'm missing there in Europe. I've been to Denmark, to Germany, to France, to Holland, Netherlands. I spent a few weeks in England uh, on a little vacation, rented a car and drove all over England, just kind of got lost. I've been, I lived in Colombia for a little while. South America. I'm here in Ecuador for going on two years. I've been to Mexico. I've been to most of the states, including Alaska, uh, Canada, of course. So I've traveled throughout the world, a good portion of the world, and I have a pretty good sense about what it's like to get into a culture, try to integrate into the culture, retain your own identity, and finding the balance for that. Uh, so when I talk about these things, it comes from a place of education, years of experience, experience living in other cultures, including this one. It comes from doing some homework and it comes from uh, talking to people here that would know specifically what it is I'm talking about. So. That's where it's coming from. I'm not putting myself up as the end-all expert. As a matter of fact, again, I, and I will I'll say it now, I highly recommend that whatever you get from me, that you do your own research. The whole purpose of this is to guide you towards something that you wouldn't have known about. When I brought up the health insurance, you, there's a good chance you weren't even aware of that development. And so I put it up there so that you're aware and then you can do some digging and make your own decision. I'm not here to make your decisions. I'm here to explain to you what I've done and to make you aware of situation. When I talk about food, am I saying it because I want to run down food in Ecuador? Absolutely not. I'm saying it to counter all the bad information out there about what food is and what it isn't. And so I'm giving you another side to it, so again, so you can make the choice that's right for you. So that's the purpose. I don't claim to be an expert, but I, I tell you what, I am an expert in my world and my experience, and so that's what I'm sharing with you. There's my answer. You know you could.
you, there's a good chance there's a good chance 